Alright people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So, today is Wednesday, and uh, you guys decided that DDDs are staying. So, we're playing with DDDs, and hopefully everything goes well, but I did not open up well at all. Like, I opened up terrible. Like, what is this hand that I am seeing before me? Like, this is just a bad hand. Like, wow. <laughs> My luck is still bad. <laughs> That's great. So, yeah, DDDs for another month. You guys just love torturing me. You're like, Daniel's so bad with DDs. He needs another month of being bad with DDs. So he'll hopefully eventually get it. And I'm not sure if I will. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I tried, I took the deck. I made it, you know, less contrived to be controlled. Any more aggressive. Hopefully I'll pull out some aggressive plays. Hopefully maybe two months will get me to do, do well with this deck. Like with this opening hand, like I don't even know. I don't even know, people. Anyway, you're probably wondering what's up with the title. Alright, there, 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 there's, there's an interesting story with this one. So, uh, obviously, he, if he's watching this video, he'll know what's up. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and tell you the story of Mr. Lance and this whole situation. And how my opponent's just gonna go ahead and Achuria beast me, and I can't fucking play Yu-Gi-Oh! So, awesome. Awesome. I'm glad he got the tits. I'm glad that he got the tits, the obedience school, the dropping the beast, the everything. While I'm sitting here with fucking just spells and pendulum monsters, so yeah, just fucking just terrible, just fucking terrible. And all I do is play spells and shit. So, oh, at least I got my freaking dark contract with the witch, uh, so I can at least pop him. But still, my hand is just still ass, still still ass. That's still absolutely fucking just trash. So. We'll probably end up losing this duel because uh, where's any of my fucking shit? Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. So, yep. <laughs> anyway, uh, actually went down to uh, vocals. Wow, two beasts. Two beasts. Like, he can't. He can't be fucking satisfied with just hitting me with beasts. He has to some two fucking beasts. Like if you thought it was bad fucking in the meta now. Wait, your opponent fucking summons one beast. Oh, and now he sets a whole bunch of back rows. So this should be fun. And by fun, not at all. So, of course, I'm going to go ahead and activate my witch. Activate the effect now. Sure. I will go ahead and discard the DD card and pop one of your beasts. I can actually come back into this duel because all he did was just go into Churia Beast. So I can go pop, pop, Twin Twister, MST, all that back row. But I need to draw into something. <laughs> that's not what I need. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not what I need. <laughs> so, once again, we will go ahead and use this. We'll go ahead and push this line, pop your beast. So, I think I might be able to come back into this duel. I think I might be able to come back, people. We're gonna go ahead and play Twin Twisters, pitch Twin Twisters, pop those two. And then chain MST and pop that. That way you have nothing! <laughs> Good day, sir! <laughs> now we'll go ahead and do Necro Slime, and I can actually summon some of my DD monsters. I really don't need to go into you. I'd rather go into you and then start gaining life points. So we'll go ahead and banish you and you, and bam! So that slime top deck was actually pretty good. And look at that, I turned this duel around from nothing to having everything. Now watch him top deck another DD in school. <laughs> uh, he already had two. So he was just bluffing with all of that, like only warning does that guy, warning, soul charge, double obedience goal. He had the tits and I had nothing, I brought it all the way back thanks to this wonderful card, fucking witch. Like whoever suggested play witch, play witch. Anyway, I actually went down to locals, I had to see uh, Ryan, you know, from Team Ninja, winner of the, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! tier draft league thing. We need to, we need to update that, we need to, we need to, <laughs> yeah, I need to actually talk to him about all that, that whole situation and stuff. Ah, give me a thousand life points, mmm, yes. So, uh, I don't believe there's any dark contracts or anything. Maybe yeah, right, so I can... I could actually just go ahead and do my dark contract pitch and pop, because he's playing all the monsters that I don't want to destroy my battle. So, we'll go ahead and just aggravate two, pitch and pop. And watch it be like his flip monster or something like that. Oh. He gets banished? Hmm. I didn't think he got banished. Oh, no, he's, uh, uh, he didn't get banished. He's, uh, he's a pendulum monster, duh. So he just went back to the pendulum zone. So, yeah, that's fine. So I, I am a complete... Oh, I could've won this duel. Oh, no. What am I saying? I, like, I could've won this duel. Like, oh, you're only 100 attack. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. So, I, uh, yeah. I need to give him all his stuff he got from winning. and need to work on starting that up again. Just been busy. 
Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. You are not gonna fucking sack me like you did fucking Forever Epic. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell to the motherfucking no. Whoo! Whoo! I almost got sacked just like Forever Epic. Holy shit. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that video, I will put a link in the description. Shit. No. No, 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 no. I opened up like garbage. Tack game. Fuck that. Why? So you could top deck into another fucking monkey board? Fuck you. Whoo! Came back. Oh, thanks to fucking slime and fucking dark contract wish. Yes! Oh my god. That was a terrible hand and I turned it all the way around. Hell no. Alright, we need to get another duel and I'll start the story. Be right back. Alright, hopefully we get a better opening hand than last time. So I had to go down to Locals, talk some business with uh, Brian from Team Engine and all that, right? Go down, uh, <laughs> and we do our business, but that's not the important part. The important part is, you know, part of my story. The, the, the story about uh, the anti-spell fragrances, of course. And with that story, I was updating the, the people at the Locals about, you know, what's going on with that. Then it just happened to be and one of the guys there, he, he you know, he kind of picked up on the store and he's like, of course, the story sounds familiar. <laughs> so when he thought that the store sounds familiar, he was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And then Ryan was like, yes, that's evil mastery. I see not. This man ran up and gave me a hug. Like, I didn't think I was that famous. And, you know, I, I was sitting there helping him with his Yu-Gi-Oh deck and everything. I guess he just didn't recognize me at all. This hand's not that good either. Like, this hand, once again, no Keplers, none of that. Just dealing with fucking just prediction princesses, him opening up with that fucking just, just greatness while I'm sitting here not being able to do much with my opening hand. Like, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> all right, that's still not what I need at all. <laughs> So, once again, flip it up and then probably pick something out of my hand. Look in my hand, pick something out. Like, awesome. Like, I'm glad to see that my luck is just still just terrible. Like, go ahead, look in my hand. There's nothing good in here. There's nothing good in here. So, <laughs> he's gonna be like, oh, I really don't even need to do that. Like, you're just gonna lose naturally yourself. So, I have to go ahead and put him in to maybe hopefully bust out more Siegfried. You know, I'm running Lamy as a four and him, he's a four. So, hopefully everything goes fine. But, yeah, yep, I... I as you can clearly see, I have nothing. I have fucking nothing. <laughs> uh, I might, I may, I might have something though, because I can go ahead and pitch special. Then he'll be in the grave. No, no, I really don't have anything. Pitch special. That's in the grave, but they say I can banish cards in my grave. This card's in your grave. You can do seven monsters from your extra deck for banishing stuff from your grave, right, including this card. So no. No, I got nothing. I open up hit, crack and he open up the tits, so you might as well just go ahead and scoop it up and get a different duel. Like, wow. Be right back. Let's try it again. This is actually getting terrible. Like, I'm sick and tired of doing duels over and over and over and over because my luck is so bad. Like, I'm actually sick and tired of doing shit. <laughs> anyway, I once again, none of my none of my uh, DD spellers are traps, none of my, my, my contracts, none of my fucking Kepler, nowhere. Like, alright. So, at least I can pull off you. Now, is that a great opening play? No, not really, but it's the best that I can pull off. At least I got my slimes in the graveyard, so. <sighs> I, I'm, not saying that, I'm not saying that I'm playing bad, it's just I'm not getting anything good. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> the talents are getting the tits. They are getting the tits. Well, I'm just sitting here just being like, I don't got anything. All right, and we are obviously. I was thinking as soon as I saw Pot, I'm like, let me guess. We're going against the Sendu because Mike Capo G put up a video about the Sendus hyping that shit up from OCG Sendus and shit. So, yay! I'm probably gonna lose once again because I didn't open up with a well enough hand to, to combat this at all. So he's gonna go ahead and creature swap me and then get his shit back during the end phase. Ah, great. Ah, that's that's fucking annoying to say the least. So it looks like my opponent's still about to tit. So I'm gonna lose again. Gonna lose again. Yep, yep. There's that creature swap. Love that card. Love that card so much. So I shit you not, this man ran up and hugged me. I, 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 I'm not actually to tell you the truth. I'm not sure if he actually knew I was wow. You're, so you're actually gonna kill your monster? Oh, you're just gonna attack me directly and then get your monster back during the end phase. All right. Now, but so are you actually gonna kill your monster? Or are you just gonna hold on to it? Because I mean, you get it back during the end phase. Well, I'm just sitting here being like, I, I don't got anything. I don't got any plays. And then he's gonna set a butt ton of back row too. 
So yeah, looks like in good old fashion, he 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 got the tits, and I got nothing. Hey, there's Kepler at least. Hey, that's that's exactly what I needed. That's exactly what I needed. So what plays can I pull off right now? If I can pull off some serious plays, that would be great. If I can bust out two eights, I can go into Yuga, and Yuga would be pretty good. It's just. He does have his two DDD monsters that will wreck my fucking shit. Just, oh, summon, summon. Oh, I have control. Uh, I mean, yeah, his fucking Yusenji monster. I have a monster of summons, pin you back. And of course, his deck that's terrible with fucking Compulse. So I can go ahead and bust out another one of him. I think I want to go ahead and use my normal summon to go ahead and get the Kepler Surf. Like, there's no other normal summon I want to do. So, normal summon Kepler. At least I don't have to worry about his, uh,. A secret technique. There shouldn't be any secret technique that. No, if there's other backgrounds, then definitely I'm gonna get fucked up. But there shouldn't be any secret techniques. And if there are, I don't have to worry about it. Go ahead and get my dark contract. Then dark contract can go ahead and search me for the big guy, the uh, Ragnarok. And hopefully, I can do some Ragnarok plays. <laughs> Cause that's as best as I can think of. Well, no, it's just an MST, just to make sure I don't get my uh, dark contract. So that's great. So not doing that play. <laughs> Definitely not doing that play. So I can go ahead and fuse it up. Go ahead and fuse with you. Yeah, me too. Summon you. I have to find play. Now I got all of you in the graveyard. So I wish I had my freaking level 8 right now. If you summon you guys again. If I, were, I, need, I should run another one of him. I should run another one of him. Just so I would have another level 8 to go in, into him, to him see. Because right now, I don't have any other level 8s like that. For some reason, I thought you were 8, but you're only 7, so. Yeah, I don't really have much, so I guess we'll just go ahead and chop this up as another L for me. Because, <laughs> Pota keeps getting the tits, and I keep getting not what I need, and then they have the answers. Oh yeah, I'm burying Mirror Force, alright. Let me go ahead and fix the deck, get another duel in. I apologize, people. I apologize that I just... I, I shit you not, these last couple of days, I've been sitting here recording these videos three, four times over and over and over just trying to get entertaining duels and I can't get anything. It's a, it's a combination of just deck sacking the shit of me, me not opening well, and me not entertaining. So, god fucking damn it. I really don't feel like sitting here and recording this over and over and over and over. So maybe just one or two good duels and I'll be happy. Be right back. <sighs> Alright. Well, I put in two Beowulf, so hopefully if that play ever comes up again, I'll at least have it. But let me get a decent hand and pull off some plays, hopefully. Sam's not bad, it's just not great either, so maybe I'll be able to pull something off, I don't know. I just want to, I just want to have an entertaining duel, that's all I want. So like I said, I'm not sure if he knew I was Evil Master, he, he, he couldn't tell until we were actually just talking about, you know, uh, things that were talked about on the channel. Uh, but <laughs> now you can tell, because you can tell by the title, so. Hi Lance. <laughs> yep, yep, I am the real Evil Master. I guess maybe he didn't recognize me. Uh, maybe he didn't see a couple of my videos there I was actually in, because it's been a cool minute since I've done a, you know, me an actual video that you can see me. But, uh, yeah. This hand... Mm, I want to try him. I actually want to bust out the Siegfried. And I could possibly bust out the Siegfried? So it's you and you, and then just normal summon you, and then bam, there's, there's Siegfried right there. So yeah, I got, I got the Siegfried. I got the Siegfried, so that's pretty good. So I guess I'll go ahead and blind space one, and then Siegfried can negate the other. Oh, Compulse, that's good. That's good, I'm glad I hit that, so. so I'll go ahead and fuse it up. You, and you. Summon you. Normal summon you. And... Siegfried time. Yay! Okay. Just, where are all my dark contracts? Like, that's, that's the problem. Where's my... Kepler, where's my Dark Contract Snurcher card? Where's my Slime Fusion Swamp King? Where's my Trap card? Like, nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. <laughs> so, uh, that was not a bad play. Uh, I guess I'll just keep it like that for now. I mean, if he does monster effects to handle me, then just fuck me, like. You know, it's kind of like the sit. It's like the the. Uh, it's like the uh, Shen conundrum. I can negate spells and traps, but if you can summon monsters to handle me, then I'm fucked. So. Okay. Chaos Zone. Mm, I don't see a threat with that, so that's fine. And all I do is just negate the effect, so you would still get it. Soul Release. Oh, yeah. Now that I'm negating. Like, don't, don't, 
don't you don't you don't do that shit to fucking DDs. Like that is not something that you wanna fucking do. Banish all my fucking shit, like like uh no. <laughs> Shut up. No. <laughs> don't touch my fucking graveyard. Never touch a DD graveyard. <laughs> I need all my shit. All of it. Alright, so once again, this city background can negate that. The cards of the graveyard is banished instead, so I might want to go ahead and uh, summon out one of my monsters to just to tackle with these two. So I think I'll go ahead and use Slime. No. Summon out Leo, and then just to tackle with these two, whatever this card is, I can just negate it with Siegfried, of course, so that's great. And then once again, it'll just be another one duels where I just deplete my opponent completely out of resources. Yeah, and you scoop. So good. I, I handled that duel well. All right, bear back. All right, another duel. So far, not really blown away by how useful the level four tuna guy is. I just I really haven't been able to do much with him. So hopefully we'll get to do something with him. Oh, level nights. Great. <laughs> I don't like Noble Knights. <laughs> I like Mad Capital I just don't like this, this deck. I really don't, so... If he pulls off the play, then I guess I'm screwed. It doesn't look like it. Not sure if he has it, but this doesn't look like he has anything. So it depends on whether it's a dark or a light, depending on his effect. So, a design monster is equipped monster be destroyed by card effects. You can destroy this card instead. If the equipped monsters are dark, then... Equip monster battles, punch monsters, start them. So I don't have to worry about you right now. So that's good. Uh, that's that's fan fucking tactic for me. So we might be able to actually get another W. But yeah, uh, this man hugged the crap out of me. I was like, oh my god, he just hugged me and spun me around. It, it, was, it was a little bit awkward, but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. You know, uh, I really appreciate all the support that all my viewers get. And like I said, I'm not famous. I only have like. What, two two thousand plus subs? It's not a lot, but you know, when it's the when it's the few and far between people who recognize me, that that makes my day. That made my day. That really did. I was super happy. So this man, <laughs> he actually, where well, yeah, I locals of course, he he made the store clerk search through all their cards to find some U bells just to get me to sign some U bells. It, yeah, that 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 to that extreme people. Uh, let's go ahead and get slime. Yeah, slime. Kepler's probably just gonna be stuck on the field. I really don't have a plan for anything to Kepler to do right now. So I'll go ahead and fuse. Fuse you and you. He said, I don't think you have anything to respond to me. Oh, he's just gonna drop next seat. Alright, so I'll just I guess I'll just allow you to even out. <laughs> so I, I could get you in the graveyard, but I think you're more important in the graveyard right now. So yeah, you and you. I'm not gonna overextend. This is, this is the extreme of what I'm doing right now. I'm not destroying you by card effects, just by battle. You're a light monster, so I don't have to worry about you, and you're just dead. Yep. And Kepler's just sitting there. I mean, you've done your job, Kepler. You did your job. I'll go ahead and set one Twin Twister, which will hopefully be able to fuck him up. Because I do not mind pitching this Lilith for Twin Twister. That's the reason why we're running Twin Twister. We're running MSTs and Twin Twisters. Pop all that back row and make sure I do a plays. And he quits. So, another W, yay! So, uh, at least the ball's rolling, rolling a little bit. So, we're going to get another duel and bear back. Alright, so yeah. Got got a, got a play set of you bells. Uh, the rare ones. So, that's cool. Uh, and I had to sign them all. You wanted me to sign them all. I was like, how do you want me to sign them? My name? You want to ask me what's up? And, yeah, yeah, it was just it was just awesome to see him. So I guess this is definitely proof because there's no way I even asked. I was like, hey, you know, what's your name? All right, that's your name, Lance. All right, I want to make sure I mention you in daily duels tomorrow for Wednesday, and look, like, you're even in the title. I think this is maybe like the second or third time that someone's recognized me from YouTube. So it's awesome. Feels great. Feels great. I mean, you know, I'm no I'm no mega capital G, but <laughs> I I really do appreciate all of the support that I gained from. Uh, all my viewers and subscribers, you guys are all awesome, and I appreciate you all. All right, so now I gotta figure out what I want to do. Um, I think I'll go ahead and activate this. Search for slime. Slime fuse with you. Summon uh my king. Normal summon and then just make uh uh. God damn it! What's his name? God damn it! What is his name? Siegfried. Why do I keep forgetting freaking Siegfried's name? Like hello? Yeah. 
And if it's a back row to stop me, then I'm okay with that too. I mean, I got these Twin Twisters, but I don't think it's worth it for only one back row right now. So I'll, I'll get them good. I'll get them good. So, let's go ahead and get that. Uh, I wish you could go ahead and actually use Lamia Effect on Kepler. That would be great. That would be great if you could actually use Lamia Effect on Kepler. Like, you have to send it to the graveyard. If it was just, you know, remove it from the field and we go back to Extract, and if it's specifically at the center of the graveyard, it doesn't work. So I have to fuse with Lamia, and I have to just normal summon Lamia, Lamia or use her effect. I might want to use her effect, though, but I don't know what on what. I guess it would have to be on my Dark Contract Gate, but I also want to hold on to that as well. This is a tough one. I think I'm going to go ahead and fuse with Leonidas. Yeah. And then I'm fusing with Leonidas. I want to keep Kepler and I want to keep Lamia. Because I would love to be able to bust out Siegfried and, you know, summon Kepler and get my search. But I don't believe I can do Oh, yeah, I could. I can, I can just use Slime and go ahead and special summon, uh, you know, Kepler from my hand and almost summon Lamia. So, we're good. We're good. We're good. So, I'm just going to go ahead and normal summon Lamia. And now I'm going to Siegfried. Although, if I do get my Dark Contract card, I wouldn't have any monsters in my hand to do that with. Oh, uh, that's a conundrum as well. I don't have any more Dark Con- I don't have any more DVD monsters. And I believe it says send a Dark Contract or DVD card from your hand. I think I'll just, for now, I think I'll just keep it like this. I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna keep the plays like this. If he gets rid of my Dark Contract, which he should, then I'll still be okay. I still have the Kepler. I have the Twin Twister play, so it comes down to how much backer he's had, so just go ahead and negate that. We don't need it. And there's my one negate for the turn. And then pop you in the face of 28. Like, no, no scapegoat. No scapegoat! So one Twin Twister and pass. Because even if he kills my Siegfried, I, as long as Dark Contract is there, I can come back because I can just go Dark Contract, search for Ragnarok, Slime, Banish, Summon Ragnarok, Ragnarok, summon back my Siegfried. So, I would still be just fine, just fine. But yeah, uh, it, it was just amazing that he didn't recognize me. And uh, I, I, we talked, I helped him with decks, I, uh, you know, you know, uh, I even showed him a Forever Epic's video. I showed almost everybody at Locals that video. Mr. Forever Epic's video of that hilariousness of <laughs> him getting destroyed by that monkey board. Oh my god, too funny. I can't wait, it almost happened to me in this video. <laughs> that top deck, have nothing top deck monkey board. Just ah! Like, no, 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 no. No one card from the Oh, so it's Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes. Resonator Mirror. If your opponent controls a face up monster that was special summoned from the extract and you do not. Oh, this card is in your hand or very you can special on this card, but banish it and okay. So you're just gonna go ahead and summon it. More power to you, sir. Sure. Still no threats right now. Alright. The most returning can target one face a monster bonus shows treat this card's level has that monster's level. So you're a level eight tuner? Like holy crap. So uh, maybe Star Eater? <laughs> like Yep, Star Eater. Wow! <laughs> oh my god. Fucking Star Eater. Here we go, people. Oh, I guess before I die, I'll go ahead and negate my Dark Contract state effect till the standby phase. I mean, till the main phase, the active standby phase, so I don't take that extra thousand. But damn, who would have thunk that that would have happened? Like, that came out of nowhere. Give me my thousand. Whew! <laughs> okay. So I'm still not sure how I feel about the, the... Oh, and the blue eyes too? Like, damn, I gotta deal with a Star Eater and the blue eyes. This is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna, going to be a tough one. Oh, and then fucking White Spirit. Banished by Twin Twister, I'm sorry. You can have that during when I'm at it. Oh, I just drew into Ragnarok. Awesome. So, of course, I don't pick anything. So, I can bust out... What's it called? Let me see what I want to do. Let me see it, because I can do some plays. I can do some plays. Uh, do I have any other eights? I'm not sure. I don't think so. So, I can go ahead and Spanish Slime Summon. This would summon me back uh, 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 Siegfried, and then I can go into uh, Yuga, and Yuga can run over the Star Eater, of course. But what am I going to do to kill the uh, 
spirit? That's, that's a good question. That's a good question. So I don't need to search for anything. So what do I want to search for? I think I want to go ahead. What do, what do I have in my graveyard? You, 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 you. All right. Uh, that's a tough one. I, I want to get rid of this blue eye spirit too. So how do I proceed on doing that? Is there anything in here that can help me? I guess I can get... Do I have Necro Slime? I don't think I have Necro Slime. I don't think I've used Necro Slime. Necro Slime... Get... No. It'd just be regular Slime. I guess regular Slime would do. I can get regular Slime back with, uh with uh with Lilith though. No, because she has to be set no it's normal summon to or special summon. I can get it back. Yeah, we'll do that. This is this is another one of those times where it's like Daniel's not exactly one hundred percent sure what he's doing right now. So let's go ahead and summon you. Activate your effect. Are you indeed the monster in my graveyard? Add back to my hand. I will slime. And I want to be able to handle both of these monsters. Both these situations would be great to handle. Because as long as I keep my guard contract, now who do I want to whom do I want to fuse with? Who's going off in the graveyard now? Lamy is going off. Does this stay on the field too? Using monsters. This card's in your hand, you can fuse some DD monsters DD from your extra activity monsters from your hand as you need to include this card. Okay. So I guess I would have to use Kepler, which I don't want to really use Kepler, but I guess I have to. So, uh, no, I point. Well, you are actually pretty good. If a DD monster special summons your shot, if it looks after damage step, you can target one DD monster and grab a special summon. You will use the effect of you once per turn. It's a story of battle and it's a story of you can target one covenant card in your graveyard and add that target to your hand. I guess we'll actually go into you. One to him. Like I said, I'm still experimenting right now. Still experimenting. Still experimenting. So DD monster, special summon side field. I can go ahead and target one DD monster in my great red special summon that as well. So uh, I can go ahead. Oh fuck! I wasn't paying attention to the time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. 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 I wow. I ran out of time because I wasn't paying attention to the time. Wow. Wasn't paying attention. God, I fucking hate Dead Pro for that. Like, you act like I wasn't doing anything. Like, I was actually still doing plays. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Like, that's the one thing I can't stand with Dead Pro. Like, I, I understand the checks and balances when it comes to that system, but, like, seriously, you're so fucking gay. So, I'm probably. If I don't lose, I deserve to lose. Because that was just, like, wow. It's like, it's like, it's like, where do you draw the line between timing out and someone just being straight up a a AFK? That's a good question. That is a great question. So yeah, that's probably Yen, because it looks like he probably has it. So I lost because I wasn't paying attention to the time. I had plays! I had plays! But god damn it. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. So it's attack, attack, attack. I don't think that's a game, because he can't attack. I don't think that's a game if you just attack. But now I gotta deal with a, a field even worse than what it was before. Like, great. No, that's game. That's game. That's game. That's exactly game. That's exactly game. Wow. Uh, I lost because I timed out. Awesome. Wow. Wow. That. Mm, I bet he feels so great right now. He's like, oh, he timed out. I win. Like, wow. Wow. <sighs> Fucking Deb Pro. You, you, you are a piece of shit. <sighs> like I said, if that was on on DM, I'm still doing plays. So you can't complain. If that was in real life, I'm still doing plays. You know, even if we go into time, I'm still doing plays. But on DevPro, oh, time out. Like, like I said, there, there's a thin line between just those two things and it's just ridiculous. And I got the latter. Anyway, I'm gonna get one more duel because that was just stupid. Be right back. I think the timing system should be taken off for, for Dev Pro and unrated. Unrated, sure. If your opponent's AFK and they time out, then sure, you get the W. But rated? Like, come on. Unrated? Like, who cares? If your opponent's fucking AFK, who the fuck cares? Just fucking get another dueling. Like, no one. No, it's so stupid. So fucking stupid. I'm so disappointed in that. Oh, I guess. I don't even know. I don't even know. This hand's not even that good either. 
I still don't like this this Ouroboros guy. I'm probably gonna take him out because I I just haven't even used him. I haven't even used him. He's not bringing anything new to the table at all. Once again, none of my dark contracts, no Kepler, no nothing. So didn't even open up nearly as well as I did last duel. Just open up with the 28 beater, no complaints, right? Go ahead and pop that for me. Well, I'm more cool. Now I got Twin Twister, alright. But I still don't really have any plays. And both of them, of course, both of these guys are tuners, so. <laughs> both of these guys are tuners, so. I don't know who to put, though. Like, I'm not a big fan of uh, Behemoth. I just don't understand. Like, he's mostly for XC plays, but I don't even like the XC guy at all, so. I don't get him. I don't, I really don't need that Foolish Burial guy. He's kind of meh as well, the, the Foolish guy. If I was going to play him, I would just play, and he cost me my normal summon. I might as well just play Foolish or something along those lines. I don't really like that. There's just not a lot of DD monsters. I guess maybe I could play the the 3000 guy, put him on Pendulum Scale, and increase my attack. That wouldn't be terrible. Then maybe summon him as a beater if I potentially need to. But I don't know. I don't know right now. Like, summoning Night Howling. Like, what do I get from summoning Night Howling? Like, absolutely nothing. What do I get from special summoning with fucking, uh, uh, slime? Nothing. Like, I just don't have plays right now. Like, at all. And now I'm about to get fucked up next turn. I'm about to get Castelled, obviously. So, I, I, it's just, my, my, my bad luck is just flowing, flowing through daily duels. It's just ridiculous. And, you know? Like I said, if it was anything outside of, uh, of, uh, just playing unrated, I wouldn't do it. Just to entertain you guys. It's the only time I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh for fun, because yu gi is not really fun for me, because my luck is so fucking goddamn terrible. Like, how do I have fun when I'm just getting fucking wrecked with how terrible I open all the fucking time? Like, uh, fuck. Oh, here comes the Beals. Here comes the Beals, right? So might as well go into Beals. Or, or, uh, or Mega, but Mega can't tap over me, so Beals would be the correct play. Wow, now you're actually gonna use you need zombies to fight. Oh, so just so you can send a zombie, you're gonna make me a higher level. Alright. Now only zombie monsters can attack, so now I don't have to worry about your, uh, Beals coming after me at least. Well, that's fine. Sick again, and he'll go off, get you another Unizombie or whatever. Like, you you seem like you opened up well. Oh, he's just gonna go into Scar Scarite. Alright. That works. So don't worry, you got it. I got fucking nothing. <laughs> I got fucking nothing. That's not what I needed at all. <laughs> That's not what I needed at all. Well, I can summon Night Howling, and Night Howling could summon Fight Back King with zero attack and it's in defense mode. Like, I have no level for it. I have nothing I can uh, synchro with or anything more graveyard. I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. So, I apologize, people. I. <laughs> oh, like, wow. Like, it can't, it can't be this bad. It cannot be this bad. This is actually sad that I, my luck is just so fucking ass. And I can, I mean, there's no level 10 synchro. Like, I, I, I can summon with slime, but what the fuck would that do? Uh, contract, so I would take less damage. That's, that's, that's great. Oh, and then just go ahead and do that play too. So, yeah, I... Yeah, that's game. <laughs> that's game. I think maybe, I was like, oh, maybe I can do the Dark Contract pitch and hold him off. No, I can't even do that. I can't even fucking do that. I, I literally can't even do that. Alright, we're done. We're done. So we're gonna have another month of fucking just Daniel can't play fucking DDDs. As they say, as, they, as my viewers say, Daniel's luck is so bad that it's not even funny anymore. At first it was kind of hilarious. It was like, oh, duh. Uh -huh, Daniel's luck is so bad that he, he loses duels. And it's just, haha, it's funny. He loses duels. Now it's just like, god damn, Daniel, like, really? Like, <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> what do you fucking want me to do?
<laughs> my luck is so bad that it gives my opponent good luck. Like that, 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 that's how you know that it's just like, wow. So. Oh, you're not drawn to anything. Yep. Yep, 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 there we go. So, let's go ahead and fucking use slime. Let me just play, let me just do plays just to do plays at this point. Let me just do plays just to do plays. Fuck it. I got nothing. I've got fucking nothing. I'm just gonna click buttons and fucking just off myself after this video is done. I apologize, Lance. I apologize all my viewers that I can't. Oh, yeah, and there you go. Top deck into that book of life. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Can you just wrap this duel up? Just wrap it up. That's all I want. Just wrap it up. I got fucking nothing. Actually, you know what? Let me just go ahead and activate this just so I can show that I literally have nothing. That I have absolutely nothing. And that this duel went to ass for me while this man had the tits. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This, the, this, the misfortune that befalls Daniel when playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh no, it's not just Yu-Gi-Oh, it's just, it's, it's life in general. Like, I don't know what I did in my previous life to deserve what my terrible luck, I don't know, but god damn. God damn. Can you wrap this up? Like, you, you, like you, you are literally going to town and doing all these plays for unnecessary shit. Just wrap it up. Just attack, attack, game. Like, that's all I need. That's all I need. If you overextend one more time, I'm just gonna fucking quit. Thank you. I'm sorry I couldn't give you an entertaining duel. Sorry that my luck was just so ass that I couldn't even put up a fight. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <sighs> I got another month of this. <laughs> like I said, I could be one of them duel, you know, them channels that only puts up the wins, but. What's the fun of that? What's the point of that? You gotta see the good with the bad, and mostly for damn what's the bad. So, a little bit longer video. Apologize. I, I tried. I tried. You know I tried. And I said, I just don't, I'm not in the mood to be dueling recordings three and four times over and over again. I've been doing that all fucking week because I just can't get a good duel. It's just like, god damn. Oh well. So, anyway, my lamps. Sorry I lost. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And people are like, why do I do quit Yu Gi Oh? Cause this <laughs> doesn't matter. Real life, online doesn't fucking matter. My luck is ass, and I already, I already broke down the ratios, and it's 50% luck in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a card game. There's luck as a factor, and if I have 0% luck, it doesn't matter if I'm playing fucking top tier PP, and I have the skills out the ass. I still need that other 50%. So even with that, I only still have a 50% chance of doing well. That's what the other 50% can literally just, it's literally a coin toss at that point. Did I get lucky? No, well, then I lose. I scrubbed out. Yeah, I'm running the top tier deck with all the best cards and all, all the money, but I scrubbed out because I got unlucky. All right, I'm done. So anyway, no deck profile today, of course, because DD stays, and we'll be staying for the next month from uh, January to February. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with uh, another tag deck. And I think a deck profile, because I think I think that tag, uh, Dynamis got replaced, so you'll get a deck profile and then the deck that will be replacing Dynamis as the tag deck on Thursday for the next upcoming month. So anyway, thanks for watching.